Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an automatic transfer switch, also known as automatic changeover switch. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project, then I created PCB layout, and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, let's see how this circuit works. The circuit has three inputs. We can connect three different energy sources to this system, such as solar energy, wind energy, generator, or main utility supply. And we can also use three different utility supplies coming from three different energy meters. We can select on time for each input. The on time can be set for days, hours, and minutes. For example, we can set time for 10 days for each input. So our load will connect to each input for 10 days. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect LCD and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, and its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino, and its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect the RTC module and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, its SDA pin. To A4 pin of Arduino and its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D5 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D6 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another push button and connect its one pin to D7 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt buck converter and connect its negative output pin to ground and its positive output pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to negative input of the buck converter and its other pin to positive input of the buck converter. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive input of the buck converter. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to common one of the relay and its other pin to common two of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to NO1 terminal of the relay and its other pin to NO2 terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive input of the bug converter and its anode to remaining coil pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to anode of the diode and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to D2 pin of the Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive input of the buck converter. After that, I'm gonna connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to NO1 terminal of the relay and its other pin to NO2 terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode 
and connect its cathode to positive input of the bug converter and its anode to remaining coil pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to anode of the diode and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to D3 pin of the Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12V relay and connect its 1 coil pin to positive input of the bug converter. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to NO1 terminal of the relay and its other pin to NO2 terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive input of the bug converter and its anode to remaining coil pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to anode of the diode and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to D4 pin of Arduino. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.